Not everyone thinks of fish in terms of food. Fishing as a sport has a tremendous following these days, but wherever one likes to do it, no one can deny that deep sea fishing has a special thrill of its own. To recapture this unique atmosphere, we visited the second international festival of Iceland. Starting point each day was the beautiful Friedholm or Peace Harbour on Jaime, largest of the Westman Isles of Iceland's south coast. Cynics might argue that fishing in these waters, where the daily catch is reckoned not in pounds but tons, is too easy. Yet enthusiasts come from all over Europe to compete in these festivals. On this occasion, there were prizes in 12 classes, including one for the team championship. Heaviest daily catch, heaviest single fish landed, and the heaviest in each of the different species. 13 of them, some we've never even heard of. The principle of the sport is to catch the largest possible fish on the finest possible line by the skill of the fishermen. In most cases, the lines used have a breaking strain of only 27 to 36 pounds. But apart from the weight of the fish, its fighting qualities are just as important. The cod we just saw and this haddock are not renowned as fighters, but halibut, coalfish and shark will do battle for hours. Four to 500 pound sharks have been landed in this way after a struggle lasting up to eight hours. There are 14 islands in the Westman group, but Jaime is the only one that is inhabited. And at the end of each festival day, it seems that most of its 5,000 population are down at the harbour to welcome the competitors, some of whom are, of course, local enthusiasts. These are coalfish caught by one of the Icelandic teams, runners-up to the Americans for the team championship. Most of us only ever talk about getting away from it all, but those who come here find not only the excitement of the contest itself, but the sea's unparalleled tranquility and an incomparable setting. Small wonder they call Iceland a fishing paradise. <laughs> 